What's up YouTube? This is CJ and Sarah. It's a Wednesday and that means it's time for another keto conversation. So let's get started. All right, so this week we are doing a something a little bit different. We're calling it a keto ketchup. And that does not mean that we are going to be making not, sugar-free ketchup. Right, we're not making sugar-free ketchup. It's, catch up. Yes. We're catching up with you. Yes. So it's a keto catch up. Summer is winding down for us and you... For those of us who are parents yeah. and who, well, I personally work for the school district. Yeah. So I'm going to be returning to work tomorrow night. Yeah. So you've so. been off all summer. Well... 10 weeks, yes. Well, <laughs> yeah, it's two months, basically. Yeah, you, yes. Well, you've been off for two months. Yes. Okay. Yes. I did not get the month of June off, but I had the month closed. of July right. and the month of August off. Yes. Right. So now I go back to working my graveyard shifts. Tomorrow night will be my first night back. So right. I will be going back to being a vampire. Right. So yeah. you're going back. The uh, girls Our kids start. are going back mm -hmm. to school. My daughter goes to middle school tomorrow, her yeah. first day. So she'll be in sixth grade. We had the back the to school two, ice cream social tonight. The other we got two, to meet their sisters. Uh, what I, the two that I call the Gurks. The Gurks. The Gurks. <laughs> G I R K because I used to not be. I could type. I know how to spell girls. But you have big fingers, have big so, fingers so it would autocorrect it, or the, you would hit the K, K instead of the L. And so they are affectionately called the Gurks. So that's what you call them. We still so call them the Gurks. They are going to school Thursday. Thursday. Okay, so they get one more day off. Yes. So, you know, so we're kind of, you know, we're winding down, kind of, we've had all kinds of projects going on. We still um, have house projects we're yeah. working on. Uh, yesterday we had a uh, new cabinet installed, kind of pantry. Uh, we just had a freestanding, like a closet made kind of thing yeah, over before. on the other side of the room before. Yeah. And this one is actually like into the wall. And yeah, so we got a new, new fancy for us pantry cabinet. We still need to do a little bit more work as far as one of the doors. There's an issue with it. Um, got a new dishwasher. I can maybe I can flash up the picture of that. It's not installed. It's not installed because <laughs> we've never had a built-in dishwasher before. This house so, was built in the 50s. Yeah. And so the right. kitchen was added a little later, but it still was not a dish a dishwasher yeah. was not built in. So. Yeah, we had before the new dishwasher. We had a portable dishwasher. Right. Uh, that you actually bought for I me. bought for you when we first started dating because yeah. I couldn't believe anybody would not have a dishwasher yeah. and so, here I am without a dishwasher. Anyway, so yeah, we have a dishwasher <laughs> that we need to install. We went today to, we're going to get new countertops eventually, but we found out that somebody's got to do the demolition. Demolition is not part right. of demolition the package. Demolition not, not part of it. So you have to like coordinate demolition with right before them coming in and putting the countertops right. unless you want to which I mean I totally cook I could cook on the table with a hot plate if I needed to but yeah. you know when you have a food channel you kind of well I mean we gotta it, live too yeah we gotta <laughs> live it's, yeah it's not yeah. just about you do we have <laughs> yeah. to live we have a family to yeah cook, cook for. for and everything too so we have to live so we we're kind of working through that so we we've had quite a busy summer We've been, what, there's been two, I've been on two trips. Yep. Well, we went to Hawaii. Yeah, and then you had to go I went down to, south I went to, to Georgia and Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, for all the folks down in Florida that are being affected by the hurricane, uh, we hope that, you know, you're doing okay. Yes. Uh, I guess you're in our prayers. And um, my folks kind of live southern Georgia. But they're kind of uh, inland. They're inland, yeah. uh, kind of up past Valdosta if you know that area uh, so they're you know they're, they're expecting wind um, they I, might lose power and you things. you probably keep more track of more of the news than I do so um, thanks I to my mother I don't really watch <laughs> the news that often in fact my boss she's a in, couch warrior my boss came in and said well how's your family doing and I'm thinking well, what's wrong with my family and, <laughs> and she was talking about my, about my folks in Georgia so um, I talked to them Sunday um, and uh, they, you know, they were just expecting a lot of wind, but just because of where they live, they don't live close to the coast at all. So, so again, we, so we, we bring all this up because some of us, you know, during the summer with vacations and just, just how summer goes, uh, you know, there's a tendency to kind of get off track as far as doing right. keto. 
Uh, maybe you're not doing keto There's family or get-togethers. There's, there's camping, yeah, we, we talk, In fact, we talked to a gal the other day at um, a place that we go to, to eat all the time, and she was doing keto. But she told us that's how she had gotten off of it or kind of... Um, and it ironically... Paused. Yeah. <laughs> ironically, she said what she got off of it for was blueberry crisp. <laughs> I told no, her... No, it was cobbler. It okay, was but it was... Crisp cobbler, this, yeah. the same kind yeah. of dish. And I said, well, you know, my recipe going up this Sunday is going to be for blueberry crumble bars. Right. I said, right. you can't make it keto. And she said, yeah, I came home and I and thought up how to make it. And yeah. she says, and I made it. And she said, it tasted exactly the same. I don't know why. I, yeah. You know, people use the term fell off the wagon for this non-keto yeah. food when... Yeah. I made it, but well, that happens sometimes. Yeah, it, is, it happens in the summer. We get it. People going, you go on vacation. There's there's people, you know. Weddings, there's, there's wedding cake, graduations. Yeah, no, there's like YouTubers. Said, camping, oh, I got to have a s'more or whatever the case may be. Yeah, I can yeah. think of a, you know, a keto channel where they went to Disneyland and, you know, she talks about how she kind of, you know. Ate got some off, foods got off that weren't keto, right. part of keto. And that's fine. Every We are all, we are all different. No judgment here. Um... You know, I've told the story before that when I travel, you given yourself. That, well, no, kind of a, no, no, no. Oh, okay. When I travel, like if I eat, go see relatives, I've I've told this before that I, when I go see my folks, my folks are, my mom doesn't even, doesn't even really cook anymore. Uh, she doesn't cook big dinners. Um, she might cook a bref, a, a breakfast for you occasionally. So for me, when I go. Uh, we end up going out a lot, which is fine because it helps me stay, be able to stay on keto and I don't have to turn down a lot of stuff. Right. I don't have to say, you know what, mom. And then I also, and I've told you this before on the channel, I've said, I also, before I get to my folks house, I also make a stop at Walmart and bring food and I bring food right. that I know that I can eat, um, that you know, I can stay within the parameters of keto and be fine. So I thought you were still I thought you were still talking about Disneyland and like theme no, parks and no, how you no, have no. said, some, you know, yeah, no, I'll, some, I, if I found something I absolutely had to have that I would. But yeah, never well, have. we yeah we I talked to that about that before. Where I, when I went to Legoland a couple mm -hmm. of years ago, I said that if I found something that was just absolutely incredible, that I would taste it and eat it and be so happy and, and but you know what i never, never did found i never found i never found anything <laughs> so good that seemed like it was worth you know even doing it so but that's just me i mean that's just me i, I mean we're we're everybody's different uh, i don't know if you know people call us fanatical but we do but we do keto all the time 24 7 365 days a year so that's just our lifestyle but but again we get it that vacations have happened, summer happens, barbecues, weddings, right. all kinds of stuff. And it's not too late to get back on track. Right. You know, the holidays are coming. <laughs> yeah, we have so, we have more occasions coming up right. in a couple of months right. where you you're going to want to you know, you be might strict, want to, you might, might want to, or right. you might want to indulge, indulge again. Right. So maybe you should have a couple of months of being, you know, stricter. Exactly. If that's what you plan on exactly. doing. Exactly. Right. Maybe you need to lose, you know, maybe you can lose 20, 30 pounds. Kind of as a, as a buffer. <laughs> right. Before, Prepared. Right. Before yeah. you, so before the holidays hit, then you, you know. You not, have a little extra that you could maybe work with if right. you wanted to exactly. indulge. And we're not saying that's necessarily what, what we're going to do. In fact, if you, if you stick around this channel, you're going to see plenty of recipes that will help you get through this holiday season that and be keto safe yep. and, and we have lots of recipes already up on our blog yeah, so of, of holiday foods but yeah because i will be trying to come up with more yeah because we believe that you know in fact we not believe we know you can do keto through the holidays and have delicious food and yep. be just fine yep so but yeah we just wanted i guess to encourage you that if you know for some reason during the summer you kind of got off track it's okay just um get back on tomorrow's a new day Get back on, reset. We're in a new do, season. Do the right. Yep. Good point. New yep. season. And so, um, what else do we want to talk about? Um, oh, yeah. Big news for our channel. We actually, I think it's been about a week and a half ago now. We actually. The 22nd. We went over okay. 1 million views for mm -hmm. our channel. And so, we want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. That is. 
it, it was, I showed Sarah, I, I just pointed it to her. I didn't, I had my iPad out and I just pointed to it and showed it because she didn't, I don't think you knew at all. Yeah, no. uh, I've got a friend at, at, at work, um, Bruce. Um, you know, Bruce tracks Hi, our, Bruce, if you're Bruce tracks our channel more than I do. <laughs> He's like, did you know? And uh, he, not that he's stalking us or anything. Yeah. But, <laughs> That's okay. But he tracks our channel more than I do. And in fact, he was the one who probably several months ago alerted, alerted, you were alerted us. Close. Or alerted me that we're getting close to a million views. But I hadn't really paid that much attention to it. But we noticed the other day that we had gone over a million views. And so for us, from our perspective, it's like, wow, it's, you know, it's, it's just mind blowing that, you know, a million, not necessarily a million people, but this little kitchen. This and, tiny and this, kitchen has been viewed and, a, a million times. Yeah, by somebody. <laughs> Some of y'all, is, you know, you've probably done about 500 by yourself, yeah. but and we appreciate that too. But, uh, so that's a big thing and we do, and I guess we want to make sure we, that we, you know, that we appreciate that. We appreciate yes. you being here. Uh, we do this. We still do this because we believe we can help people. Um, and because you're watching. If nobody well, yeah. was watching. Yeah. Well, but I mean, we do this because we help. We point. believe we can help people yeah. have success on keto. Right. Um, and because keto has changed our lives as far as physical health. Uh, it's changed us. And so we just believe that you can do it. And that's why we continue to do what we do. And you know, sometimes if you if we you want us to be really real with with you, sometimes it's hard for us to do it. I mean, it's like this week. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to prepare a recipe when yes. you know I go back to she, work. She's got to go back so to work tomorrow. I work night. from ten o'clock at night until I don't get home, back home here because I have a half hour commute each way. So I don't get back home here until seven o'clock in the morning, yeah. and then I stay up for two hours to take my girls to school. So then I don't go to sleep until nine o'clock in the morning. And then I only will gen- my body will only generally let me sleep for about six hours. So I have to get used to that schedule again. And so yeah. I'm kind of like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so when I prepare foods, I really have to be like thinking right. about it. And so we've already had conversations this week about okay, make sure whatever you prepare. So if I say uh, if I say a stick of butter is six tablespoons, I'm sorry, <laughs> it's <Yeah>. eight. <laughs> you know, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you, you did know. that last week, didn't you? Yes, I did. Yeah, I thought that was weird when I was. <laughs> I was like, "Is that right?" But anyway, um, let's see what else is going on. Oh, I wanted to throw something out about just, and this is an issue that I have. I've talked about it before, and it's related to snacking, uh, snacking on keto stuff. So right, you're, keto you're foods. eating I'm, keto foods. I'm not, you know, I'm not eating anything that you can't eat on keto but like nuts for example just snacking on keto you know keto friendly mm-hmm. stuff but i still feel like i'm snacking too much uh i've tried different things to deal with it and i guess i'm gonna throw this out to the collective cj's keto kitchen brain brain what is it what are some of your thoughts or suggestions about maybe some things i can do to stop snacking what i find I find that I really do it after. So it's an at work thing. I, yeah, it's an at work thing. I, I actually don't do it that much at home. No, because sometimes you'll say, you know, a couple of hours after dinner when we're watching TV or whatever, sometimes you'll say, I'm hungry. But you don't do anything about it. You'll yeah. say, I'm hungry. Yeah. But you don't get up so and get anything. So it's an at work thing. I, yeah. So, and a lot of, and probably the majority of the days, I don't really. I don't really eat anything in the morning. I do. I do probably uh, probably three or four days a week where I'm not eating anything. But I may have coffee before lunchtime, which for me is about 11:30, 11 45, 12 o'clock. But then I find after I eat, I just kind of get into this snacky kind of mode, and and I'm trying to figure out what that's about. It could be boredom. Um, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not always bored at work, but it could be boredom. I don't, I don't know. But I guess I'm throwing that out there. If you've dealt with that and then figured out a way to kind of overcome it, I'd love to hear, hear some from suggestions. You, some suggestions. And I will pass them along. Yeah. So we'll throw that out there as well. What else? So the other day, someone mentioned to us something about a Patreon account. Why don't you have a and Patreon account? And they asked account. us why we don't have a Patreon account. And we just said never... I don't know. We had never really thought about it. Uh, if you don't know what Patreon is, it's a way 
uh, it's a way where you can donate to say a channel right. or an artist or you know someone that you so want to support and you can donate monthly uh, or whenever to their cause right so we have never asked for anybody. and we're talking like a dollar a month if you want yeah, to it's yeah. not i mean it's you, do a, some no set amount. you do some I, I do now. i do some patreon to some keto um podcasts like yeah. i have a patreon for two keto dudes and it's like five dollars a month it's not and i've yeah. done that for a year so it's you know so i guess where i was going with that was is we actually set up a patreon account we don't have any levels set up we don't have we just have an account and we, i looked at it before we started tonight i set it up <laughs> And, you know, we have a banner, and it's a picture of both of us at the kitchen table. <laughs> but when I looked at it tonight, at least on my phone, he my face was... And he showed me. And he, uh, it's like a, a picture of us right here, yeah. right? So I'm sitting here, and here's CJ's Keto Kitchen, like right here. But then there's this circle of CJ's Keto Kitchen right on his face. My face. So it's like I could be sitting with anybody. Yeah. And so <laughs> it's right on his face. I said, it's like, great. how it, I said, this is how important I am. I said, great. Yeah, this is just how important I am. You know, you're the star of the show. <laughs> Whatever. And so, anyway, you mentioned the Patreon account because we do have. There were people who asked. If so. you're interested in supporting our channel, um, it would be great. Uh, if not, that's fine as well. Uh, well, we do have it. We don't. We haven't got all sophisticated yet. We don't have levels mm -hmm. set up. We don't. We haven't thought that far ahead as far as how it works if you whoever donates the first time i'm going to be so super excited just to see that it works and so um but again we mentioned that we do have a patreon account we will put a link in it and then as we go along we'll we'll try to set up some levels and and right and other channels it's you know if you if you do a certain amount every yeah. month then you get like you know a, a free you know cooking lesson or a you know yeah. whatever the case may be yeah so. so we're we're talking about those kind of things we don't know we have to figure out how you know we have to figure out how to do all those things and we don't want to say we're going to have these different levels and then not be able to d deliver right. on what we say we can right what we say you will get at that level so that's one of the things that I always want to be conscious of is that if we go down that road that we can support and do what we say we can do. But you're so, like the postman. You can actually deliver. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, well, cause I don't think that we should say, you know, if you or do Carl Malone, either. you know, I'm not going to, I don't want to hear, I don't want to say, you know, if you do this, we're going to do this every month and then we can't deliver it. Cause it's just, I just don't roll like that. That's not, not how I was raise you say what you do you do what you say yeah so anyway that's that's the patreon account million views we talked about that next week will probably be the keto crate yep we know that it's on the we're way to get it on the fifth yeah is what they we say. know that it's on so. the way and then i guess you know if you guys have and, and i have to be careful about this if you have suggestions for topics you know, let us know. I'm not going to say that we're going to do every topic that everyone suggests. Well, and sometimes suggests. someone will suggest something we have already covered. But if if you are an individual has, who has gone through some of our older videos and you feel like we should revisit a topic just yeah. in case. Because, you know, we get a lot of new subscribers. And sometimes new subscribers don't go back and look at our older videos that are like, you yeah. know, two years old. So maybe there might be certain subjects that you want to see repeated again or if it's still relevant right you know a couple of years farther into our journey yeah so yeah and if you've been here with our channel for any length of time and actually if you've been with any keto channel for any length of time uh i'm sure topics get revisited yeah all the time you, yeah. there's just there's only so much new stuff that right. you can talk about uh, only so many new you know discoveries and right studies that you can talk about and so <laughs> exactly. a lot of times you'll find that we talk about things multiple times because again I, like sarah just said multiple there's people always coming new to our channel and it's more likely that they will uh our newer content will be suggested to them on youtube yeah. and so that's kind of what they will generally watch instead of going all the way back to the beginning of our video playlist yeah and watch. one of our subscribers uh, Tamson, I believe is how you pronounce her name. She went back and found uh, one of our like first 
videos. Yeah, it was uh, like our. It was a channel video. trailer. It was a channel yeah. trailer, and it was kind of funny doing watching that. We actually went back. And yeah, I watched at, my first video. We looked at Sarah's <laughs> first video. It's a four-layer dessert. Uh, and the thing that's funny about that is because when we started the channel, we had a old, we had a, um, a HD camcorder. Camcorder, yeah. And I used it, but it took me probably four or five months to figure out how to get the the video off of the camera. So by so the time like that eight months had gone by. Yeah, by the time. By the time that video was published, you had like lost the whole. I'd lost of weight. like fifty pounds yeah, or something and you by looked, that summer. Yeah. So and I looked totally different by yeah. the time we did the, like the ice cream, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So preview or whatever. We kind of went back. We kind of <laughs> went down memory lane, especially when we went over the million views. It kind of yeah. caused us to kind of go back and it was talk about quite funny. Yeah, how things first started. So anyway, we appreciate you being here. Um, Again, I guess the biggest takeaway we want to leave with you is that we appreciate you being here, but we also want to let you know that it's not too late just to get back on track of you if for nope. some reason you, during the summer, you kind of fell off the wagon. we'll be there with you yeah, through these will. next couple of months. We'll be giving you recipes. We'll be having these conversations where we can help each other through the coming holidays Yeah, and help each other. That's yeah. what we're here for. Yeah. So we hope that you have a great rest of the week. Talk at you later. Bye bye. Bye. Peace. Peace. See, you're in the dark. <laughs> she thinks. Your face looks fine. Okay. Not that you can see it. <laughs> why don't you go get... Why don't you go do something? <laughs> why don't you go do something with your face? <laughs> I didn't say that, but what I mean is if your eyes are bothering No, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm go, fine. Go nope. do something. Okay. What's up, YouTube? This is CJ and Sarah.